Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikita Antoine and uh, today we'll be doing a reading for the sign of Aries. As always, Aries, all of the readings are timeless. So when the message finds you and resonates, then it is yours at the time in which you find it. Uh, Aries, I have done your spread today with um, my three decks. It's the uh, Luna Tarot, the Dreamscape Oracle, and the uh, Ethereal Visions Tarot, all by Matt Hughes. So, Aries, it looks, there's a little bit of noise. I'm sure you can hear in the background. I've put up these, like, I don't know if you can see them, these curtains on my window. It's really funny because actually an Aries gave them to me. So, but Luna's in them and she's flicking her tail around. So that's, that's what you can hear. I might, I don't know. She really does love them. <laughs> All right, so Aries, um, it seems like you are like in a play in a space where you're planning. There's, there's a lot of planning going on. It almost looks like it could be presenting itself as a road trip, or uh, maybe something you know, like some type of goal or some uh, some place. You know what? Actually, we're ending the reading off with start at this starting at the end um we're ending your reading off with the six of wands so it's kind of signifying like anything that you see as like success like your ultimate success it it looks like you're planning out the different stages of how exactly to get to make your way there so let's go ahead and start um at the bottom of the deck Okay, we have the Hierophant. This one, the Hierophant, this one comes through as a, a confirmation or a sign, a sign that's leading you in the right direction. It's really interesting because I was thinking about, um, you know, you're, you're being led in a specific direction, right? So this would be like the North Star. It's like a like a confirmation that you're being led right there there is a there is a guiding light there's a, there's a star there's some type of confirmation that's gonna illuminate that for you aries uh let's see on the split the bridge of the energy it's you aries look the three of wands look it's you looking out okay it's like you're waiting for some type of confirmation waiting for like the sign uh to go it's like a it's almost like a uh, wait this is the uh like a signal it's like a signal it's like waiting for the signal you're waiting for a confirmation that's gonna either tell you which direction to go in or that it's time to go like it's time to you know what i'm hearing is actually like get on that horse <laughs> That's interesting. all right let's look at the overall energies for aries right in my lap okay we have the overall energy is the harpy eagle okay the Harpy Eagle talks about transitioning between worlds. It's like that space. They're, they're, they're usually the ones that bring like the messages from the spirit realm to, well, to the water realm, which kind of talks about your psyche. So that could be presented as almost like, like, a, like, a, like a message in your dreams from the spirit realm to the dream space, something along those lines. So the overall energy, well, that kind of makes sense. You're you're waiting for a confirmation, and the overall energy of this reading is like that message, the message of that it's time to transition between where you were and where you're going. All right. It's interesting because a harpy eagle is actually like it is a, it's a bird so it's a messenger so it could even be like this reading that being something in this reading that is going to be like a uh well it's going to be a visual 
because this specifically talks about a visual confirmation. It's kind of like looking up at the sky at the perfect time to see a shooting star across it. So, all right. So we're starting off with the Ace of Swords. And this is showing as some type of, it's like you've been struck with some type of idea, almost like this, almost like this shooting star, like, like it's coming down and, and striking you. There's, there's some type of idea that is literally landing like that harpy eagle. It's like, it's okay. So what that's talking about is that there's a sense for you that, that all these things are tied together. It's almost like you can, when this idea lands in your lap, it's like you're gonna see all of the, the confirmations, the synchronicities, the, um, like how everything led up to this landing in your lap. So what this is, it seems to be some type of idea uh, or, like a plan it's like a plan or an idea it's because it's in the swords energy it's very mental so it's like it's still in the process of being kind of like sorted out in your mind because you're coming you're showing up here as the as the queen of swords right so it's like you've received this the ace of swords some brand new epiphany or idea or a plan and you're trying, you're taking in the information, right? And then trying to kind of like ground it into this, into this plane. So you're trying to take what you are in, not inspired by. I mean, it is, it is inspirational. It's like, it's like something that has just like, it's, it's like you know where to go. You know, okay, that's what it is. Because, okay, <laughs> I'm getting excited. So, so you're, right, this idea, this thing, right, is, it's like it's opening up some type of idea. It's opening up the path for you. It's bringing an illumination of where you need to go and what you need to do and kind of also like how to get there it feels a little bit like it's like marking your trajectory um the images that i'm seeing right now are are like a map like pulling out a road map and marking down you know especially with the path there see it's like using using that ace of swords to kind of mark out where you're going to be going next so it's interesting that it's coming up as an ace of swords as well because i often see the ace of swords as something especially with the queen of swords it's it's something um, really intrinsic about you, Aries. Something that intrinsically, almost like it belongs to you. Like it's your idea. It's your projection. It's where you want to be. It's because the the Ace of Swords signifies like your your truth, your inner knowing, your inner um, what do you call that? Like. Uh, sure surety sureness of yourself that's and the, the sureness of where you're meant to be in where your success is meant to be like the uh, arena or the industry if you will um, something like that it's like you know where your success is right you know that that's a part of your truth and so you're using that to create this it's like it's coming through as like an elaborate plan like i'm gonna do all of these things it's like a step stepwise program if you will but it seems like you're you're the one that's like you're creating it for yourself 
it's very self focused uh you know and which kind of makes sense especially with aries because aries is a more like self-focused like internal internal knowing type of sign you know what i mean so even though it is showing up as, as a swords energy like she is depicted here as holding a wand so you know it does still have it has like that very interesting like fire element to to it as well so you're following your passions and your desires like this passion this arena or the space where you're going to find success is that's what's kind of moving that's what's moving you forward and and opening up it's like once it's like once this epiphany occurs for you it oh it's opening up that it's like it's opening up your path your drive it's opening up your drive okay it's opening up your drive and and it's that passion that's kind of showing you like where the next step it what's interesting though is here is that you know we're talking about passion and passion tends to be a little bit more i want to say Im impulsive but there's a difference here there's there's something about it that is not well it's not really impulsive anymore it's it's a plan right so you might find that where you used to be a little bit more impulsive it's like there's something about this it's like okay no now i know where i want to go and now i definitely need to sit down and plan it and really go over every single detail and make sure that there's not gonna it's almost like uh trying to make sure that there's no hiccups or anything like that because if you've used kind of that that wand energy before it's like you could you might get into you know if you it's almost like you don't that's very interesting Because there's all of this waiting for confirmation, even though it's an inner knowing. So there's there's a kind of like a clash there because you have all of this inner knowing. It makes me feel like there is a previous, like maybe something like this happened previously for you, and you followed your passions, and it kind of led you. I don't know maybe it led you somewhere where you where you didn't feel like right or something along those lines so but now it seems like now you're kind of taking a different approach you're taking a more um, like well you're taking a more analytical approach and you're planning it out what is really funny to me though is that you know we see this queen of swords you really studying your plan going over it like making sure all your ducks are in a row and then but you're familiar this this white raven here that's perched on your shoulder here uh which the white raven talks about prophecy so it's kind of like where you're the des the the destination okay <laughs> all right so you're familiar or whatever is like looking at it's like there's something approaching and what's approaching here for you aries is this sea turtle it's like while you're kind of really in your head really focused on the plan like how you're gonna get there right there's something that's like approaching outside of your well it's outside of your plan what's interesting here is that with the sea turtle the sea turtle talks about oh my gosh actually she kind of talks about moving between worlds which is what the harpy eagle was bringing in for you because the the turtle the the backs of the turtle like symbolize 
the entire like the, the land mass of the world right so it's like they're 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 picking you up it's almost like you're something is coming to pick you up so that's what it looks like to me It's, it's really interesting. It's like, because what I'm seeing is, we were talking about like the roadmap. What I'm seeing is kind of actually you staying in a very still place, like with that Queen of Swords energy, and actually like the earth rotating like underneath you. It's like if you were to stay still and then the earth is rotating underneath you, almost like, you don't even necessarily, it's giving me a message about like that the, that you're going to find yourself in the right place. It's talking about you're going to find yourself in the right place at the right time. It's like the earth is going to rotate around, <laughs> around you and you're, when it's, when that rotation stops, it's like you'll be in this place. And then if it rotates again, you'll be over here. So it's, it's like, it's moving you. You're being moved. But you might not feel that you're being moved. Because you're like, you're in this space of waiting. That's what this bridge energy is. It's a, it, this is a very, this is a still space. It's like, you're just sitting here, kind of waiting for your ride. Oh my gosh. You're waiting for your ride. And there's something here about like, okay, you've planned all, you've planned everything out. Like everything is good to go. You're ready. You're double checking it and making sure it's there. Right. But then, and then your ride shows up, your ride shows up and moves you because this is like you and, and the ride coming in to pick you up. And then both of you, this is like you in the ride. It's going to, it's, what it's talking about is, is that it's going to carry you there. Kind of without you even necessarily knowing it because your plan is so like in depth and uh, intricately designed and you know all of the steps, you know every single like thing that you're going to do, right? And so it's almost like you don't even necessarily have to, it's like now you're in a space where you can just sit, you can just sit and, and enjoy the ride because you're going to get your, your plan is already like foretold, if you will. So you're going to get to the, to the place that you're meant to be at. It's really interesting because it does kind of feel like you're not really well like you're like you're waiting still so you might be like oh, how do I want to say this you might be feeling the, like a lot of energetics energetic stuff because this is a lot of this is all spirit right this is all air right it, when it, it there's a lot, a lot can be moving right in the air, but then you're still waiting for it to kind of land, right? You're still waiting for every to everything to fall into place. And it, it is, it's It is. <laughs> you're waiting for the confirmation and it's coming. It's definitely coming. It's coming in like that, in like the sea turtle. All right, um, Aries, if any of this resonated for you, I'll be going ahead and pulling some more cards. You can follow the link to that in the description box, and I'll see you there. Okay.